enough to swap this radiator out. This is a two core radiator. I have a four core radiator upgrade to put into this to increase our cooling capability. And that's the main thing, keep things cool, increase the cooling capability. So part way through doing this part of the radiator swap, well, you can hear the radiator draining. We're going to upgrade it to the bigger radiator. Hold some more antifreeze. So, got to get this uh, two core radiator taken out, put it in a four core radiator. So, hoses are undone, draining out the last of the bottom so I can disconnect the bottom hose. And then I'll undo the four bolts and lift it out. Start fitting in the new one. Some better cooling so it can climb higher mountains. Ah, that's it. Keep it cool. Here we go. Well, guys, I got it to fit in there. It's quite a bit taller than the other one, so it fits in there. With the body lift, it looks like it belongs. So we're making good progress. Figure out how to mount it to the uh, radiator support. Uh, my hose might be a little short. We'll see. Let's see if we can get in here and show you what's going on. Down in beside there, you can't see too well but the spacing for the radiator is really tight that's the mounting flange and against the back of the header here so I'll get the radiator out of the way try and get a better look at it at a flashlight now so you can see what's going on down there the radiator has to bolt flat against the radiator support but the mount for the radiator is out here so this is a two-wheel drive radiator or the wrong year radiator it could be that uh, this header which is for a 7879 front end uh, has a different radiator that bolts into it so we're going to make a bracket this stuff here might be the easiest way to make a bracket. It's got multiple holes. We'll cut it to length. We'll use a piece of this against this to be able to have adjustability. Okay, hopefully you can see this all right. But this is the uh, adjustable bracket on the passenger side for the radiator. All the different holes Keep a different height adjustments to be able to adjust the radiator up and down. So we'll see how this works out. Here's the brackets on the other side of the radiator. All the holes are drilled and the brackets are just on there loose. We're going to set the radiator in and see if we can get a final height bolted in with these. And it has multiple holes as well to mount the radiator don't know how well you can see in there but my radiator bracketing is a little bit crooked I need to readjust it flip it over to the other side I think this side looks pretty good everything lines up so I think this side will work out all right giving this old radiator a flush run some water through we got a little bit of dirt coming out right there you can see the dirt coming out so watch it come out Lift it up. Good, good flush. Get all the dirt out of it. Get, get all the dirt out of it. Seems to be holding water okay, so. Yeah, get it flushed out. Almost ready to get it installed. This is what the bracket looks like. Nuts are in between there to hold the bracket out and the right spacing. This is the other bracket. It has to sit a little bit different, but it holds the radiator in the right spot. So now I just got to get the pan shroud drilled and installed. Holes are drilled for the pan shroud, so the radiator is ready to be reinstalled back in the truck. Well, I can't fully test the radiator, but you can see that it's fully in there. The shroud is mounted, everything is mounted. 
it hasn't been leaking since I installed it so that's been a good sign everything has been pretty good on it hasn't been any real problems that's how that all ended up looking so this thing all looks pretty good except we got a new problem now uh, the carburetor is now leaking out pretty good so these old trucks thanks for watching secondhand overland